Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis, and today I wanted to show you a scene I've created in Unity 3D, and just kind of go through it real quick and explain what I have here. I've got a small fighter and a giant cruiser out in outer space, just kind of flying around. The cruiser is just moving on its own in a big circle. Pretty simple script, really. It's just moving forward and rotating right. Um, and then I have this little fighter here that I can control to some extent. There's not a lot to it. Uh, but the point of me showing you this video was to just cover um, a few big problems with it, really, and explain that it's really not perfect. It's pretty far from it. Uh, and there's a reason why I wanted to show you that, and that is to say uh, you can start building a game, and it doesn't have to be perfect right out the gate. It doesn't have to have everything. If you want to build a game, go ahead and just start doing it. Throw things together, and you can actually build something really fun fairly quickly. Prototyping is actually one of the most fun things you can do because you're just, you get to play around and there's no consequence for it. And I would urge you if you're learning games and you're new to it, just jump in and start doing things because it, it can be quite fun to see what you can do and it's exciting to add new features. And So I'll just kind of walk over what I'm doing with this here. Um, this scene is really pretty basic. All I've done is, is gotten a new skybox. You can see this whole you know outer space scene. Uh, it's kind of bright, cloudy. Um, I got this for free from the Asset Forge, um, but it's, it, I mean, Asset Forge, from the Asset Store. And download this for free, replace the default skybox, taken two, these two spaceships that I've created, and I've imported them from Asset Forge, um, and, and put scripts on them, and added some lighting to them. And this is really not complicated. Um, it's really pretty basic. Um, nothing all that fancy here so really the fanciest thing I have is the scripting for the camera and the player controller and even that is heavily borrowed from Sebastian logs videos and uh, you know until I can make something more original and fitting what I want to do uh, I just kind of play with it for now and so you can see nothing too fancy uh, one really big issue that you probably noticed right off the bat is that you can't tell how fast I'm moving. Um, I've only got uh, another object that's moving in the background and you can't really tell how fast I'm moving if that's the only other reference is another moving object. So uh, some bad design here doesn't really help. So, um, but you can see that there's something kind of fun there to play around with. And so you shouldn't be afraid to play with setting up something and just getting it out there. Um, and again, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if you'd like to see some of the scripting I've done, I would recommend uh, the, the most complicated thing that I made entirely on my own is on the cruiser, this script here. And we'll edit that. And you can see in the update method, I'm going to transform translate vector3.forward times time dot delta time times my speed, which I've set as 8f. And then the transform dot rotate, and I've just set a number in there, 0125f. And that's that's how I got the movement on that. So nothing really fancy at all. The camera, main camera, has a script added uh, right here, the third person camera. You can tell I borrowed that from Sebastian Log. Uh, no modification whatsoever. If you want to look at his videos, um, there, he has a, uh, I think it's um, an animation tutorial. I'll try to link to that below in the, the description. Um, the cruiser itself, uh, I mean the biker fighter has, again, uh, heavily borrowed. I've kind of ripped out a lot of stuff because I don't need most of it. But uh, uh, the micro fighter also borrows from Sebastian Logs. That's why it moves like mostly like a car because it, it's just borrowing from that script. Um, but you can tell I have a directional light here, which I've turned off for now. You can turn that on and I can change the intensity, but it doesn't really fit very well with the scene. The cruiser has uh, the model from Asset Forge and a few lights added to it. You can see that the engines that were really bright in the back um, is what I added the, where I added those lights. And then there's like a little hatch where I added a little light, like, you know, a little door to the back of this deck. Um, for that cruiser. So that's where I added lights there. For the ship itself, I added a couple of engine lights to make the engine look brighter. And let's see if I can find it. Ah, right there. Scroll back a little bit. And then I also added a small kind of pinkish light 
to make the colors pop more on the ship because in this space background it looks mostly kind of gray and it doesn't stand out and uh, I just wanted to make it look kind of interesting. The big cruiser I forgot to mention has that particle system. It's really not optimized at all. It doesn't look great. Um, but I just wanted to add that for, for a little bit of effect. But this is something that, you know, if you're a new programmer and you want to build something, um, just setting yourself up a little scene to prototype, throw some shapes out there, uh, things like that. Just put it out there. Um, see what you can do. Put some scripts. See what happens. Watch some videos and, and try and tweak them. Make them your own a little bit. And that's kind of what I plan on doing is I plan on really just heavily modifying the scripts and what I've learned so far uh, and, and making them new uh, for my purposes. So um, anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.